Where is it, dude? B. Okay. West. It's 40 miles away. Yeah, Call me. Call me. And by for miss, resulting in a dismount on Eddie Strike. What is going on? All right, I'll just do it. Hey, it's pretty far away, but there's three cat alphas. It's way up there. It's at the top left corner of the screen. It's way up there. So really far away. They're ready, but the call to scramble hasn't come in. An army medevac unit that's closer takes the mission. The PJs continue to monitor the situation, poised to strike. Within a minute, another alarm, another wounded soldier. Send us. Second time running over here. There we go, here we go. Pedro's ten about like a Yeah, sounds good. We're already in the birds. What number? Pedro, scramble, scramble, scramble. An Afghan soldier stepped on a mine. A potentially lethal injury. He's bleeding out. They'll be picking him up from an Afghan army unit. And with the green on blue reports, the team's on edge. If you've been watching the news lately, there's been a lot of uh, infiltration into the, the, the army, the police, and stuff like that that have been shooting ISAF forces. So there's always an increase in risk picking those individuals up. Suicide bombers have been known to target helicopters on the ground. The team wants the landing zone contained before they land. A green on blue attack isn't the mission's only threat. Pedro 6 1, flight up. The advisor also saying open field, flat train, and how copy. The team has to land at the point of injury where the mine blew up. To, to land at a POI, it's always more of a concern for, for us. The big thing for us is their secondary IEDs, because it's a typical thing that we see from the, uh, from the enemy. Is they'll place one, they'll place several other ones around, expecting a response. We are cleared POI. 